Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I went to the charity shop and to um, Car Boot and I just want to share with you the haul that I got. Okay, so I would definitely recommend um, secondhand uh, shopping as a way of uh, getting some items um, you find things that you thought you would never see um, so you get some really unique stuff and you get some stuff at a real bargain price um, so yeah I'm going to share with you um, some of these things that I got so one of the things that I got is this um, stamp set um, and it's all um, Egyptian um images and some hieroglyphics and things like that so you know i really love egypt sand <laughs> i love it uh, i really love egypt um so yeah i when i saw this i was super excited so um yeah good range of stamps there and this was 50 pence at the car boot so this is what i'm talking about amazing um deals and things because people just want rid of things and obviously getting things from charity shops and from car boot sales you are also um helping the environment because we're like recycling giving things a second life so yeah it's something i definitely recommend Okay, so from the charity shop, um, I found this book, um, which as you can see was 50 pence. This is rough, uh, from Rough Guides, Colour the World, Create Beautiful Artwork Inspired by the Greatest Places on Earth. Okay, so obviously it's not in brand new condition, um, but it is still... Um, you know, in good condition, plenty good enough for me. Um, just a few creases and things. Uh, so, it's got this location map. So these are all the images we're going to be, um, all the places that we've got images from. So we'll start off with Russia. So there is some colouring in here, but this is just pencil. And I reckon that with my... Um, electric, electric, battery powered, my electric um, rubber, I'll be able to get rid of most of this and then I'll be able to pull it over it. I've just woken Saffron up from her sleep. She is unimpressed by the rubbing. So, see what I mean, the difference between these two. So, just because somebody's coloured something in in pencil, I'm not going to let that put me off the book. Um, so, this is St Basil's Cathedral, uh, Russia. And then this is um, a ceiling in Iran and it's zoomed in so it's just like the pattern so you're just appreciating the art. Um, this is Aztec in Mexico, super detailed. Okay, Peacock Gate in India. Um, so this is done in glitter gel pen so I'm going to struggle to get over that uh, but that's one page out of the whole book. And I'm sure I've got this in that Lonely Planet colouring book that I've got. Okay, number five is Pakistan. Uh, another ceiling. Mexico again, Day of the Dead Festival Altar. So that's another page for um, Halloween colouring pages in non-Halloween colouring books, isn't it? 
So let me put a tab in there. So I remember. Um, Eiffel Tower in Paris. A woven basket in Ethiopia. See the potential. It, it's irrelevant that that's what it was, woven baskets. They're just patterns, aren't they? You can go crazy. Chrysler Building in America. Um, a decorative figure from a temple in Cambodia. This small about a colouring, I can cover over that in some way, uh, so that won't matter. Uzbekistan ceiling fresco. Wow, that is a super detailed pattern, isn't it? Colosseum in Rome. Another ceiling in Iraq. They seem to be good at ceilings um, in the eastern countries. Patriotic figurines in China. So I find this book quite fascinating because some of the pages like this one are like scenes, but then others are like zoomed in, so you're just getting the pattern. So this is Italy, gondola. Like here, you're just getting the pattern. Uh, so this is tile work in Morocco. Again, same here. Uh, this is some cloth in Ghana. This is a rose window in Paris. Just beautiful. And then here we've got another scene. So Taj Mahal, India. Abu Dhabi. That's right, it's another ceiling. I need to go over there and get some ceiling art from them, clearly. Court of Lions in Spain. Okay, this is uh, Japan. Capitol Building in America. Oh wow, another super detailed one. Palace Museum in the Forbidden City, China. Oh my gosh. Tutankhamun. This is Burial Mask. Las Vegas. Maori Carving from New Zealand. Trinidad and Tobago. These are some stilt walkers. At the Kiddies Carnival. <laughs> Great Wall of China. And then this is Machu Picchu in Peru. Oh wow, look at all these. Laos. Dolls on sale at a tribal market. Another ceiling in Iran. Decorative tiles in Istanbul. Austria. St. Stephen's Cathedral. Or is it Stephen's? You never know, do you? Oh, this is a masked performer in Puerto Rico. Cute. Big Ben. Yay, in London. And then this is um, in Morocco, fortified town. So, um, there you go. So that's all of those. So that is um, Colour the World and it's by Rough Guides. I don't know if there's an, orf, um, an artist as such. No, nothing mentioned in there. Oh, picture credits. Oh, there's different names for every single picture. So, yeah, so I would just look up Rough Guides um, for that one. So, yeah, super pleased with that. 50 pence, amazing. Okay. Um, so then at the car boot sale, I got these two. 
so this is Tattoo Colouring Book by Jade Summer. Um, so I know this is quite an old book, 2018. But, um, yeah, it looks in good condition. Uh, so, yeah, so I was pleased with this. Remember when this came out and you're like, torn, do I, don't I? Um, but again, 50 pence, you're not going to argue, are you? Oh, look, another, another Halloween picture and a non-Halloween colouring book. Because that's not just a skull, that's um, uh, Day of the Dead. Oh, lions. So, I love Jade Summer. They're just a classic, aren't they? <laughs> Tattoo Jade. So, um, this is the second set. Of pages, we've only had a few, um, only had a few of the landscape ones, which I suppose makes sense. So yeah, I was really pleased with that. No pages are coloured. And then I also found this Magic Autumn Halloween Grayscale Colouring Book, and this is by Alina Lazareva. I haven't got anything by her. Um, but yeah, these are all grayscale. Um, so these are really nice. Look at this little guy with his little hat. He's got ear holes, which is essential. I'm not sure how old this book is. Probably the same as the Jade Summer one. Oh, Luke. Stop now, you're being... So many kittens in this. Love it. Okay, then you get your second set of colours. Um, so that's really nice. And then at the book, at the back we've got the social media and all the other books that she's got. So yeah. So again, really pleased with that one. No pages coloured. Um <clears throat> binding's going a bit, but you know. Just looking to see if it's got a year in it. No. Don't know, but it's going to be around the same time, I think. <clears throat> so then, the other thing that I got is um, three diamond paintings. It was so strange. Um, there were two different stalls selling diamond paintings. So um, I haven't opened these yet. I don't know what these are going to be like at all. So this was from the first stall. Um, and this one cost me 50 pence. Come out, come out. I wish I had it written down what size it was because I have no, I'm no good at guessing. <laughs> Shall we say, fifth? Oh, I don't know. No, I am making it up. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a good size. It's these two little cutie foxes. Um, so I liked that. And then yeah, you get your standard kit in there. 
I've even got a multiple place in there, so that's good. And look at all the drills, all those oranges. Really, really good. So yeah, 50 pence. Can't really argue with that, can you? Um, so that's that one. And then these last two I got from a different stall. These cost me two pounds each. But I mean they're brand new, so I'm happy to pay it. <laughs> Wait till you see what this one is. This one's really cute. So again, um, normal kit. All my diamonds, all my drills. And then this one's a nice little cute one. This is a 30 by 30. See, this one didn't say on, did it? No. So this is just a nice little 30 by 30. Um, and it's going to be this little guy. I liked his little face. He's like, ooh. Ooh, look. Isn't he smudgy? Smudgy, you're on camera. Did you mean to be on camera? Did you want to say hi? Or have you not realised what you've done? Okay, this one I had to have because it is Halloween. Um, and I don't have Halloween diamond painting at all. So this one is 30 by 40. Again, got the drill kit. Uh, got my kit, got these beautiful drills, proper autumnal colours, really nice. Oh, it's even better than I thought because it's got a little spider. <laughs> so that's cute, so that's going to be, where are we, sorry. Um, this little pumpkin with its wiggly stalk, so I like that. Again, that one cost me £2. I'm happy with that because if you think all together, £4.50, I got three diamond paintings. So, you know, complete bargain. So, there you go. That's um, everything I got in my um, second-hand shopping stall haul this time so yeah definitely uh, consider charity shops and things like that you can get some amazing stuff okay everyone <sighs> my husband is talking to smudge <laughs> right okay everyone um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel and then you're going to know when I put new videos up. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Bye.